G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. As if you can see me behind these. Uh, what I've got here is the Helicontex Paxel set, which is a polyester ripstop. And I've also got the Helicontex enlarged Paxel bag. <coughs> the sizes of these is, uh, what have we got? I'm reading it there. 23 by 12 by 9 for the small one, 32 by 17 by 13.5 centimeters for the medium, 35 by 21 by 17 for the large, and the uh, the extra large one or the enlarged pack cell is 41 by 27 by 23 centimeters. Now the first three, the small, medium, large, come as a set. And you can get it in three different colours, which is the multicam, black, and OD green. Now I've got the OD green here. I've had these for a while, I've been using mainly the small one as more like ditty bag, and the large one, which I've been throwing my clothes in and shoving it down the bottom of the pack. It makes it so much easier if you're a person who likes to organise. So like I said, in here I've got clothing and I've thrown in my down jacket just to show the size of it all puffed up. The smallest one, like I said, I use it as a ditty bag. Now all four of these are the same uh, design. They're just different sizes. The zippers I believe are YKK but I can't see any brand on it. They got a dust proof on here for the zipper to stop any dirt and dust getting in there. We've got the Velcro or your hook and loop so you could personalize it, put your name on there or you can put in there uh, a description of what's in the pack or so you could put on there. <coughs> oh, these nice handles. And if, what do they made it up? Yeah, they call them slim rubberized carry handles. And it does make it easier to just go down, grab the handle of the one you want and pull it out the pack. So I, when I first saw that, I thought, oh, they're gonna be a bugger getting in the way. But the amount of times I've actually used them to pull one out. Let's turn this one over a little bit bigger. And we've got compression straps on here. One, two. So these will compress down fairly small. So I want to about half the size. And it's running away. So pulling the compression straps, that's about half the size. Now the compression straps, I don't really use because I never pack these packs so they're solid. <clears throat> I always have it so there's room in them. Apart from the ditty bag, because that's all the hard stuff, so you can't really squash that down. But the whole idea of using these is at the moment in here is my uh, snug pack jungle blanket and a pillow. So when that goes in the pack, as you saw, it's fairly squishy, twist it. So I can push that down into the gaps. If my sleeping bag was in its own pack or its own uh, stuff sack, it'd be a firm tubular shape. So when I'm putting that in my backpack, it's not gonna be filling all the gaps in my pack. And it's gonna be a little bit lumpy as well i believe it would be just be too hard and i have felt it sometimes when i've done that in the very beginning when i started hiking when i shoved everything in stuff sacks i thought great it was compressed and down but i actually ended up taking up more space i believe where using this sort of system or just using one bag and shoving everything in to fill all the gaps you can reduce your pack size by five or even ten liters so just give you an idea what will fit in these. Now, in this one, I've put my down under quilt from Hammock Gear, and it's fairly lofted up. 
Let's loosen the compression straps on the bottom. So that'll loft off even more. So I can actually leave that and store it in there. Now I've undone it, it's starting to uh, fluff up even more. But when that goes in my pack again, I can squash that down into the corners. Or if I had my cook kit that can go on top and it'll just squash in to the down. Or if, same with my clothes in this one, the cook kit on there, the pot, will squash into it. It's not solid in its own stuff, like I said before. So, like I said, in there is my uh, 20 degree or minus 7 degrees centigrade under quilt. Now I've loosened it up, it's getting bigger now. So, yeah, and again, that's got the compression straps, the grab handles. And with it being a nylon, it's fairly slippy, so when you're pulling it out, it's going to come out pretty easy. So let's make some room. Just to give you an idea what we'll fit in these. In this one, again, before I do this, this is still squishy. I can push it into the gaps, or before push things and now mould into this. So I've got a jacket. Spare pair of winter hiking pants, fairly heavy duty. They're part of the um, the Helicon Tex bushcraft, or oh, no, the Hel Helicon Tex hiking pants. I think their ones are uh, fairly comfortable. I like them. There's my hiking shirt in there. My insulated base layer. And a pair of jocks and socks down at the bottom. So let's put them back in there. Now, there's a knack putting things in this because the zip goes diagonally. So you haven't got much here to stuff stuff in. And the same on that corner. The actual main bulk is on these two corners so using my jacket i'll show you <clears throat> it's the same when i put my sleeping bag in there or i put my down under quilt and top quilt in that one i'll shove it into one corner first and then i'll tuck it into the diagonal opposite corner Nice and easy to go in there. So, there you go, compression straps and the handles. And that'll squash down to probably at least half the size. In this one, those of you who own the Snug Pack Jungle Bag or the Snug Pack Blanket, you'll know that it fits in the stuff sack really tight and it's just like a solid tube in your pack now i've got that in here and with the pillow yep yeah, i've got a pillow too but you can see it in there nice and loose and all that came out the medium size one so again to get that in and this is fairly slippy too I'll put it into the corner with the most material there I get so much in that and then I'll push it into the diagonal corner or the opposite corner should I say and back a bit into the original corner And even without doing it up, it sits in there. If I shook it really hard, it'd fall out. But... Oh, let's put the pillow back in. Don't want to leave that for the cat to get. Thank <laughs> you. 
and a small one. Like I said, it's 23 by 12 by 9. This is my little ditty bag, if you want to call it that. I've got my full water filtration kit in there. I've got my little pump and light to blow up or inflate my sleep mattresses. My hygiene kit, very basic toothbrush, toothpaste, some, uh, what's that, the, the instant hand sanitizer, but the Dettol one. And I'll do a review of what's in here on another video, and I'll explain why I actually carry that. And it goes in there nice and easy. Throw that back down that corner. Throw it back down there. And in this final bag, blue roll, and a poop scoop in there. And I've got that in the second pack, because if I'm gonna use that and get dirt, I'll just put it straight back in that, its own uh, bag, and put it back in here, and everything stays clean, and less chance of getting dirt actually in this one. And this was from a, uh, Tasmanian company called Tear Gear and I think they've just closed down it's a shame because they used to make some brilliant stuff I've got one of their hammocks put that back in there and I've still got plenty of room in that one but that normally sits down one of the sides or near the top actually it's the main place but either down the sides at the top or on the top. So if I need to, on my heights or when I'm out there, I can grab all my main gear. So we've got the Helicontix pack cell. We've got the set, which is three different sizes, made out of a ripstop nylon, or they call it a micro ripstop. <clears throat> Again, we've got the medium one. And then we've got the large one. And that's one set you can buy and this is the extra one the enlarged pack cell which you can see now has got a lot larger now <coughs> excuse me now I've undone the compression straps and the under quilt is in, uh, enabled to expand <coughs> now I've got this one in the OD green or the set here and the large I've also got one of the enlarged ones in the multi cam, and it's a really nice uh, color of multi cam. You get some of them where you can tell it's not a proper multi cam, but they're trying to uh, copy it. But the actual, it's actually, it's in that pack at the bottom. The, the actual pattern of it is a real nice, proper uh, MTP, I think it's called, the military tactical pattern. And correct me if I'm wrong I'm just guessing at that and like I said it's really nice great material I've been using these one two three mainly the ditty one the ditty one the most with my gear in uh, yeah when I use the snug pack I've used the medium one and the large one also but sometimes I'll throw just so if I'm doing only do two or three nights and I don't need as many, much clothing, I'll just carry the clothing in the smaller one, in the medium size. But if I'm doing three to five or more days, I'll use the large one. And that's plenty, plenty to get all my clothes in I need. I could throw extra in there as well. Uh, like I said, it can compress down a lot more. So here we go. And that's just pushing the sides in. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and it's showing you what these Helicon Tex pack cells are like. They are good quality, the construction of them is really good. No loose stitching anywhere if you're wondering. They're, they're not waterproof. So the main reason they're just gonna keep the dirt out of your pack and enable you to organize it a lot easier. So going back to hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have and you're not already a subscriber please go down below and click on the subscribe button click on the notification bell next to it click thumbs up 
and if you are already a subscriber again i thank you very much Mm-hmm. <clears throat>